actions. Do that thing you do. We blast off in 10 seconds. to be here today. I have got until 3.45 to play around. And I suppose I should probably chop my uh, content into segments. Although I'm finding lately that I can only manage to upload one video at a time. Of course, it might be partly due to the fact that I do not usually start uploading until like 1, 2, sometimes 3 in the morning. But lately the internet at night has been rather screwy, and I cannot use the upload speed during the day because other members of my household need it. Um, so with that out of the way, I think I'll show you the, uh, One, the easiest and fastest way to get Ventus in the Dragon Hold event. Which means we're logging on to Argella as our first character. Hopefully, I can manage to find a dragon with relative swiftness. There we go. Twitch is active. And I can now see what you guys are telling me. If I happen to have a scratchy voice, pardon me, it's been like that sometimes. I don't believe that I have any, like, disease or anything that's causing it, because, well, the cold hasn't even gone around this household. Let's see here. That dragon is active and probably about to die, so we're just gonna have to wait. I am already here! And I cannot tell where exactly in this particular dragon scour the dragon will show up. But we'll find out when it gets here. The good thing about these dragons is that they leave these gigantic emblems here on the map. So you can always see them. When you're down on the ground and you've got the mini-map, all you see is like, when they get into combat, is like a blur of, of a striated sideways lines. I think that's because the, uh, for some reason, oh yeah, it's because the swords on it flash. That's why. And so when you're on the mini-map, you've got other things that change pieces of data that change quickly, and that makes it difficult to render the flashing swords. And so you end up with striated lines of blurry white and background, which is just as indicative that, by the way, there's a dragon here and people are fighting it. Uh-oh, someone in guild chat is calling for a werewolf to bite them. I do have a werewolf, but he is not at level 10 of his werewolfy power yet. He's like at level 2, 3, maybe? The good news is that werewolves are easy to level up, and there's the dragon! See him over there in these mountains? Over the Starlight Adaptorium? He will be landing momentarily. 
and hopefully I will have people that will help me with him because, well, I'm squishy. As Argella is a, is a, a vampire and most dragons breathe fire, which is kind of a bad combo for me. <laughs> but even when I'm not dealing with a fire spitting dragon, I am still squishy. There we go. That is the pile of dragon hunters. Should probably go this way. Oh, he's a lightning dragon. Oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. I'm gonna make sure not to get killed by. Damn it. Well, at least I know I'm in the right spot. <laughs> it was not supposed to affect, to affect me outside the cone. What the hell? Well, here I go to... Oh, man, if you hit the scroll button, it takes away your... Uh, your um, inventory. Ow! Ow! Damn it. Well, your uh, inventory contains your food, and I have never heard of your food but being taken away because you died before. So I'm going to apply a food buff. Let's hit the five button and the three button and the one and then the two. Maybe I'll give this one some healing as well. Oh, that's going to be a mess. You know, maybe I'll just go around healing people. Because it seems... Oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh man, why did you knock me out of the way? Well, at least you were tanky enough to kind of help. Looks like my group's a little shy of people. I'm kind of needing to, uh... Actually go in and do healing this time. Which makes me an off healer, I guess. Oh, that was a bad time for me to do that. Well, at least it took two spells for me to die this time. Oh, nice tactic. Oh, he's not on the ground. He's in the sky. He is crapping on us in the sky like an artillery. This is a bad spot for me. Alright, so I have to get closer to him than that to actually get. I got some one-handed shield skill and an event ticket. You see, I was trying to get an event ticket last night, but then I started doing the thing that would get me event tickets too late. So, I goofed that up big time. I'm after the berries to make the white pure snow indirect.
Yes, take it all. Yes, I want to open the Half Digested Adventures pack. I have gotten erotic etchings. That's actually kind of cool. Now, where am I going down here? Well, let's try this place, the South Guard Ruins. It's guaranteed a dragon's gonna show up to your spawn site at least once. So, it's, like it's, it's the best to port down like that. And that particular dragon site is the closest to the way shrine. So there you go. Choices 101. The fact that other people make different choices is a great thing for us who are hunting the dragons over here, because that means if they spawn somewhere else, then the place we're hunting at will spawn that much faster. <coughs> It's kind of an irony. On this character I'm questing in here, as you can see all the white uh, markers, and the dragon just spawned there, so I should be able to reach them in time by hopping to Pride Home Shrine. Since I'm a ranged DPS most of the time, that makes it rather easy. Mr. Draggle, you're about to have some unwanted company. Ooh, and he's an ice dragon. See how gorgeously white he is and pale? Frosty skinned like myself. I have the gold etchings across my skin. Oh, and he is crapping on us from the sky. He's a Necromancer Dragon! Oh shit, I better run! Get out of the fucking ice! I'm hitting the E button. My problem is that I was hitting the E button. Interesting that an Ice Dragon is also kind of a Necromancer. Let's see if I can drain it. I want to get some skills up on my draining. I love the fact that the ground has warnings for you on whether or not you're about to be killed by a ground spitting effect. The lovely red circles under your feet are very helpful in this regard. Although you definitely, definitely, I kill the dragon by draining its life force. definitely want to like get out of the way of those and you want to hit the, the uh, W key or the S key or the A key or the D key instead of the E key because the E key is how you move in this actually that's not how you move at all pardon my misspeech the uh, E key is how you obtain crap in this game Yes, I am slightly frustrated about the fact that I was attempting to run away by pushing the E key. All right, draft of health. <clears throat> Apparently, the people who live here know that it's not time to come back yet. They would have spawned immediately if they knew that a dragon was not going to spawn there. It's one of those interesting little functions about this game that are 
a very helpful telltale. As long as I don't kill myself falling off of a cliff. <laughs> Maybe that, um, um, Fur Forge Cove. Or is it Fur Gorge Cove? Yeah, Fur Forge Cove is what this place is called. It probably doesn't have a merchant, but I might be able to deconstruct some crap. New Moon Acolyte! That's okay for me to do. I'm not making any more, um, crap for people to wear. Um, new characters with, um, crafting things. Alright, so let's deconstruct and get the sardonics. Nice. Now let's see, oh, I'm still researching something. Let's see what it is I'm researching. A girdle for six hours and two minutes. Oh, there's stuff to disenchant or deconstruct on that bench. But am I going to get it? No. New Moon Acolyte. <coughs> I'm keeping that. Oh, Senshal Defender's Greaves. Breaches of the Marauder's Haste. Actually, that's a good set for me to have. My clothing is ready to research. All right, let's see. Cool. Let's deconstruct that. Put on these new pants. Now when I pop over to my other bar and my um, thingy with the stuff. Medium and heavy. Now I am wearing a heavy chest plate. And I've still got five in the Vastari set. However, when I switch over, it'll go down to three. The irony is that the Vastari set is um, on my non one hand and shield bar, so I probably need to rectify that. Although Crafty Alfique is a good set for me. Because then I can actually use the bonus. Yeah, let's leave that. Yeah, let's leave that too. I remember now that I completely forgot to... To think, I forgot to put, um, you know those little s stones that enchant things? Enchantment stones. I forgot to put enchantment stones on my armor. Yeah, I'm okay with paying less than 500 gold to recall that soon. My DPS wasn't that bad, about five and a half thousand. Now I need to fall, 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 find a merchant to sell crap to and repair my gear at before I um, go off 
to wait in mountains and show you what she's gonna do for the day. Actually, I haven't decided what she's gonna Sisa do for Hunt the day reforming just yet. Dragon Guard. Can he even do that? Oh good, merchants! I'm so glad you guys are here. It would be a pleasure to make sure your equipment is in good shape. I try my repair kits. How about I buy your repairs to the tune of 140 gold? Actually, that's not that bad. Especially considering I have 2200 worth in just treasure items to sell. To say nothing of the, oh wow, set of limited edition etchings of Argonian erotica. It is impossible to discern the gender of the participants. And I don't know why that would matter. Oversized dice. From a tavern. Pouch of coins. Flattened brass discs good for fooling less than sober gamblers. Best used in poorly lit rooms. It's amazing the fun things that you find in an adventurer's backpack. Bright frog skin makeup case containing shiny, precious color eyeshadow of crushed pearls and gold dust. Now that is pretty valuable. A wooden abacus features white and black beads. Merchants who have difficulty tallying might find this tool useful. I'm guessing one of the adventurers just was very, very interested in making sure that he had or she had the best deals. Vial of strongly scented facial cosmetics for dressing up one's complexion while masking the stench of the common folk. The vial of perfumed rouge. This sounds like a tool that got used a lot in the Victorian era. Oh good, I have been selling things lately. My system for um, how much I sell things for is quite simple. If I add a zero behind the item's level. And that's the end of the story. It doesn't matter what quality it is, and it doesn't matter um, what traits it has, or what have you. I sell it with a zero behind its level, and that is all. <laughs> The, uh, I'll have to show you the guy who guards the bank when I get, uh, out of the bank. Hello! You wouldn't believe the things people give us to keep locked up. I could tell you stories to make you feel more comfortable if you are hesitant. Except it would cost me my nice position. So, know that we don't judge. That is valuable information indeed. Alright, let's not deposit that because I've got plenty of space in which to put it. Let's put this in the bank because I know that my healer can use it. There's some stamina DPS stuff and some tanky stuff. And these, when I pull them out, I might use them on another character that is a crafter like Penelope Falcor, or I might just sell them. Oh, I forgot to sell the Dwarven Puzzle Box again. Let's put the Northern Elsewhere treasure maps in the bank. Oh, 
it appears that this one is a duplicate. Hmm. And it's time to log in to what's your face? To Waits in Mountains. I've been collecting the uh, mailed items on her lately. Mostly because she's the one I play the most now. Oh yes, now I remember. I decided to do the Val Balfoyan questline. Now, hopefully I can manage to get this uploaded. Lately I've been having trouble when it's time to upload. I've found that uploading the videos one at a time is actually better than trying to upload it in a mass batch. This is the Dalmora Way Shrine. There's a lot of resources here that most people just either don't collect or decide not to collect. So, you have a bunch of people running around grabbing the resources that are local. Esku, hello. I lost my family. I don't know what I'll do. Your family's missing. There were scary noises in the fields. Some of my gua ran away. I'm worried, worried, worried about them. But I can't leave the gua who stayed behind. They're too frightened. So your gua herd is your family? Of course. Guar are noble creatures, and they're hard workers. You've got to find them. Here, take some stinkweed. It's their favorite food. Their stomachs will lead them home. Home to me. All right, let's do this. Thank you so much. My poor children. I don't know if I could go on without them. Why do you treat your guar like family? Because they are. They haul our goods. They eat our trash. Guar are magnificent. And I have heard rumors about the Covenant. If they attack, who but the Gua will carry our belongings to safety? That makes sense to me. In which case, I will definitely go find your family and send them home. I think... No, I don't think Iron Claws is out here. I think he's up here somewhere. But in this general area, there's... You know what? I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna go and find Iron Claws because I know as a basic idea where he is when you start the quest. The end of the quest, he's on top of this watch area. That's Alessio Guillaume. I don't need to talk to him. There's Iron Claws. I like picking up all the quests in an area if I remember where they are or know where they are. Hello. I'm going to I'm throw Netch eggs at no the Covenant. No one else will listen. I have an idea that could help turn the tide against the Covenant. Let's hear it. Balfoyan doesn't have much of a militia to defend it. But we do have Netch. Netch bulls are usually docile. But when they think their herd is threatened, they're fearsome. So you want to convince the Netch to attack the Covenant? That's right. When a Betty or Netchling feels threatened, it secretes a kind of oil that provokes a bull's rage. I collected some oil and coated these sterile netch eggs with it. Throw them at the daggers. The netch bulls should attack them. Sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> and that, my good fellow, is the kind of unorthodox tactics that will definitely win the day. Hello. Please, make them stop. What's happening? This covenant is burning the fields and murdering us where we stand. Please, there are others out in the paddies. Someone needs to find Batuas, Vudilal, and Wanaxi. Sounds like me. 
Now go on and run. Because clearly, these guys are not people that you can fight. See? The Netch Bulls are not to be trifled with. Didn't even see him coming. Oh, look, a chest. Let's get rid of that guy. Unlock a simple lock. And you are still on the clock. I've got a jingly one right next to me. That would be Apollo this time. Greetings, Apollo. Please, my scales are slick. Don't send me to set this. Path Township. I'll dance on the water, thank you. Go on, bro. Go quickly, because these Covenant guys are not... Well, I would trifle with them, but then again, it's my job to trifle with people like this. Treated net eggs. Alright, let's collect the mountain flower. Thank the netch bull as he passes by and talk to her. You don't wear the lion crest. Please help. Can you make it back to town? With your aid, moist one. My thanks. Go quick! Can I actually chuck an egg? Nope. I ran out of eggs! I need more eggs to make an omelet! Tell Iron Claws it worked and please, please, please give me more eggs. I want to send more of these Covenant guys that are attacking, hacking. Porky and talk to Iron Claws, and there's Wenoxy. Everywhere I see, these cowards put us to their blades. Dry skin wretches. Sounds to me like if you were trained to fight, you back you'd be more than happy to do My so. Thanks. All right, let's grab this. Discover a mundane rune. Now isn't that a good thing? And Rakuta and Denny. Right, Iron Claws. Corky is over there. And also, um... That third marker there, that's Pale Hide. He is inside the fortress, like a smart huar. <clears throat> the people who live in that fortress must have let him in, figuring he uses supplies or brings supplies and stuff like that. I know I would let a guar in if it asked to get into the city. Let's look at this thing. There's iron ore right here. I got Regulus. The furnishing materials are, uh, well, they're not technically a rare spawn because they're not like green or stuff like that. March is proud. Are you Hello. here to stand with Fort Zirin? Yes, but I haven't gotten to that part of the quest yet. Hello, Pale Hide. It's time for you to go home. Alright, I last time I was here, I collected the stuff. <clears throat> the Sky Shard that was here. I've gotten almost all the Sky Shards except the one down by the uh, docks. 
It's actually on the ship. You'll see what I mean when I get there. First, I'm gonna talk to Esku and Iron Claws. And the survivors that I found Dawn out was missing you. Thank you for bringing my family back together. Did I get them all? You did, Guar friend. They're all back. Palehide is already ruling the roost. Where would they be without me? I'll get them fed and ready to carry our things. Well, thanks. He can smell where the wind is blowing. So, how did it go? It worked Excellent. awesome! Yes. I'll let the commanders here know of our success. I hope we'll see each other again. Stay moist. Cool, thanks. And look, there's a runestone. And there is a group of survivors that I need to talk to. But first, I was checking and make sure, as I jump on top of this house, that there were no chests up here that I could take advantage of. I wish I could feel safe in town, but with the Covenant in Balfoyan, nowhere is safe. Did you all get it back? We did, thanks to you. We are forever in your debt. We will think of you always in our passage down the river. Thank you. Okay. There aren't any stable masters in this town. This is the place where you go if you want to sell things and craft. Although you could always talk to him if you just need to sell things. Cool. Now let's go do the main quest in this area. You'll see a lot of people running around with merchants because the merchant is on sale for Black Friday. Oh man. Sergeant Durian? Wow. Okay, whoever got them got them by surprise. Let's take a look at the ledger. <laughs> Noting that Nord ships have replaced the Telvanni vessels. They've asked for Kindle Pitch Powder. So they had a new recruit. He didn't know about the testing of Kindle Pitch Powder. Ah. Oh. So they test to make sure their signal works. And Captain Durin's got an accommodation. So the new commander in this area was good to all the soldiers that were under his command. Supply chest. It's empty, so the people ransacked the tower's supplies. Oh man. So it looks like I'm off to Fort Zarin. Or is it Zirin? I keep hearing it in multiple ways to pronounce it. Anyway, I'm off to the fort to go grab some powder. While 
why I'm here, I'm going to show you Humble Mud. It's a cute little house out in Balmora. Next to the inn you get for free at Davin's Watch. In, oh, actually, that's in Ebonheart. I kind of wish that they had put the house in Davin's Watch, though. Davin's Watch has more amenities, like banking. You can do crafting in uh, Ebonheart, and there's a lot more guild traders there, so I guess it makes sense. But if you want the banker and the outlaw's refuge, you go to Dappen's Watch. There's these cute little windows that have the paintings on skins. And then here's the courtyard. That's how it all looks without furnishings. You can buy this for 40,000 gold, unfurnished. Or you can buy it furnished for 2,600 crowns. Let's see what it looks like with furnishings. Well, it's not different than it was in the courtyard. But this looks different. So they do put things on top of the reed mats. Now that's just cool. I rather wish you could put things in the sacks and barrels the same way you can when you're um, in Skyrim or Oblivion, though. That would make it just a little bit easier for people who don't have ESO+. Yes, yes it would. More storage is a good thing. Now, without further ado, it's time to get to Fort Zirin. Actually, there will be some ado be doo be doo because I just found some bug loss. And I'm an alchemist, so I enjoy bug loss. There are the buddies! The Guar buddies who will carry objects. You get a Guar and you can actually ride it. I never did decide to get the tessellated Guar. It just never appealed to me the way it looks. Even though it is looking more exotic than a horse, it's not really my taste. Hmm. Denskar and Litrek are here. Hello, let's talk to you guys. Watch your form there, son. Hold the sword higher. Over your heart. Take care during the battle, friend. Thank you. Teaching Litrek how to fight. Father and I are sword. training hard. I think we'll be ready. Yep. However, no one has trained you how to close portals. And that comment is right there next to the steaming bowl of foreshadowing. Thank you, Deadpool, for saying that, by the way. Alright, let's talk to Quartermaster Uro. Need a blade? I hope no. not. I don't have any to spare. Oh, I can make my own if I have to. But a raid hit Dalmora Watchtower, and I need Kindle Pitch to light I'm the fires. Out. Bit of an accident in the storeroom with a lantern, I'm afraid. Suddenly oh no! Kindle pitch. So where can Check I get the dockyard. some? Lenin just offloaded a fresh supply. When you see her, warn her about the attack. She's such a fragile lizard. Don't want her going to pieces. Okay, thank you. It is time to go. Oh, let's talk to Iman. Lunch told me to stay out of the way. He said I shouldn't look threatening during the battle. I think I can. 
Yeah, the Covenant doesn't seem to take notice of whether or not people look threatening, though. So, he is both right and wrong. Oh, hello. There's no person to talk to here. Break for Imstool. And now I know how to port to somebody. I have to join a group with them. And then when it says, teleport to your group master's location, you hit yes. Yes, I want to teleport to the location of my group master. There are plenty of reagents. I am ignoring them on purpose. Alright. I'm gonna discover the Way Shrine. Oh, there's a grocer here. Some grocers sell flour. Which is very helpful to the people who craft things. Because the cooking things, most of them require 20 flour to make. Like if you're making a candle. Or something else of the sort. Before I go doing the main quest in the area, I will grab the Sky Shard on the boat. Sometimes you'll actually find that there are chests in the water. They're on top of these sort of floating areas, like part of the docks. And then you swim to them and jump on the docks. But what I want to do, there aren't any here. Oh, there is one. It's over there. Really? You short stroked that? There are usually at least two chests in the water, if not three, because people don't think Hey, let's check the water, and maybe there'll be a chest there. I wonder if the level of the chest goes up as time passes. Like, you have a simple locked chest, and then as time passes and nobody unlocks the thing, it turns into a intermediate chest, and it gets to be an advanced chest, and then it becomes a master chest. Or maybe they just spawn at a certain level, and they stay that way, no matter who finds them. Hello, Apollo. He's checking on me again. I learned something very interesting about the new build I'm rolling with, too. I have different skills. Now, this is my back bar. I've got it slightly different than it was when it was designed. But this is the PvP build, at least mostly, for Stamina Dragon Knights, called the Dragonborn. There we go. Wow, I am just raking in the chests right now. Come on! Jump on the freaking dock! Oh wow. 
Now, if I fail this one a few times, it'll make total sense. It appears that this one has a lot of uh, picks that go down on this particular run. So you spend more time. Oh, so close. So close. I have no time to yell at this one. And certainly no time to wait for a pick to regenerate. Oh, don't be surprised if you don't get the master locks right away. They're hard. And you don't have a lot of time. You've got 10 seconds to pick that lock before it fails. I got it! I got it, I got it, I got it! Yes! Ooh, and I got more skill points, too. Okay. So it looks like there is a wonderful little ramp that I can use to get out of the water. And there's a cat on the dock. You know, they actually used to keep cats on the dock in the real world. They would hunt mice and rats that would come up from the water. Hello. Trinhild and Rolanda are training. And Pujira. Yes. Training as if there is no tomorrow. I think perhaps it is time I went west to join my cousins in Lukil Uxith. Lukil Uxith? It's an Argonian town west of Ebenhart. The name means something like place of assimilated lizards. The name is a slur it used to be. Today, my people are proud to stand with the Dark Elves. <laughs> Note the changing in the cultural values. Okay, let's look at these guys. They're dock workers, all three of them, and none of them are able to be talked to. Alright. Jealous. You look brave. Brave like my gainer. Please help me. What's going I on? I fear she's been eaten by Nick's hounds. I'm terrified of them. She made me a flute. Said it would calm them. To prove her point, she went up the trail behind me. A pack of beasts lives up there. Alright, I'll go look for her. Of her. Whatever state she's in, please bring her back. You got it. How could I have let her do this? Oh, Gaina. Why did she want to prove herself? Sometimes Gaina's a strange girl. She's a master crafter. In fact, she thinks she's one of the best woodcarvers on the coast. I think she wanted to show off for me. Silly girl. Oh look, Nightshade. And another chest. Looks like I'm going to get the achievement for spotting, or at least close to it. Spotting chests, that is. The advanced chests are much easier than the... Uh... Oh, a Sigic portal! There's loot everywhere around here. I'm guessing that most of the people who go through here don't have the um, Sigic quest line perk or just want to get all the quests done. Or maybe just the main quest. And so you'll have like... Sometimes that happens in this game. You'll have a sweep of people who are doing the quests only and don't care about collecting things and then you'll have a sweep of people who are off collecting things and don't much care about the quests, or have already done them. Puddin! Oh, isn't he just cute? It just ignored the flute. If this Nyx Hound hadn't saved me, I would have been eaten. What happened? The Chalice is worried about you. I must you. have worried her terribly. Please, the Hound that attacked me, it's sick. It's rabbit. 
All right, where'd it go? Further up the path, if it wanders down to the docks. My wound might be infected. If you can take care of the hound, I'll limp back to Bishalis. All right, I'll kill it. Dispatch a rabid mix hound. And there is another chest there. No, you do not get to eat my blood. I will not allow you to eat my blood. There we go. Now I can collect my chest and a rune stone to boot. This looks like the place I will need to go once it's time to do that part of the quest. Hello, simple chest. Which is far easier to open than a master chest. One thing I have noted about the master chest is that you are more likely to break your lockpick on a master chest than you are to break it on an advanced chest. Oh man, I have to kill you again? Just to unlock a simple chest? Well, skill ups will be useful to me. One chain of stone giant slams. And one unlocked simple chest. I have killed the rabid Nixhound twice now. But that is okay. Animals with rabies. Well, do we have a cure for rabies? I don't know. I don't know if we have a cure for rabies or not. I know we have a vex. Oh, we do have a cure for rabies. Good. So they can be cured. It's a painful cure. Mom over there, she... Huh? It's a series of shots that they give you. Okay. Series She's of shots to cure rabies. Painful stuff. But we do have it. So in our world, we would have to make that animal fall asleep and give it a series of shots to cure the rabies in it. Over a few weeks. Wow. Yeah, rabies is a pretty serious virus then. Yes. Yeah, serious. Serious as in makes you afraid of water. So most of the people that die to it die from dehydration. Because they won't drink water as they are afraid of it. And humans, because we are mammals, can catch rabies. I imagine a person who was afflicted with rabies and began to show symptoms will tell you that even though the series of shots over a few weeks is painful, it is worth it not to die to that particular virus. Looking for rations. Keep going down. One hundred percent deadly, so it everything kills everything it infects. Okay. There's no chance of you surviving the virus. Raiders. Without the shots. Take the Kindle pitch. Warn the watch. You are sunglasses yep. for telling me. Have you spoken with Urona at the fort already? Yep, she sent me to you. Soon, she's a crafty one. There is your education on viruses for the day. If you're going to light the fires, I can help you get there. Follow me, sun on my scales. We go now sure to thing. the secret passage. It is really a storage tunnel. But today. It is a secret from the Covenant. Now that sounds good to me. It's good that the Quartermaster and any person who's escorting you somewhere will actually wait for you to catch up to them.
they didn't do that in World of Warcraft. Boom, one supply tunnel available for my usage. You could grab the things out of here, I think. And it's not considered stealing, but I don't want to. So I'm not going to. Besides, I have plenty of things in my inventory as it is. Let's take a look at my situation here. Plague Doctors of Dremora's Dread. Let's take a look at the Mall of the Trainee. <clears throat> Steel Great Sword of Flame. This mall is actually better. Way better. Look at the Steel Sword of Flame. It's missing maximum health, but I don't exactly need maximum health. It's got a great, great thing. Trait, though. Alright, so it has less maximum health, but it gives me stamina and stam recovery. Due to the Mundus Stone I have, Divine. As you'll notice, I'm wearing a lot more heavy armor. There's a reason for that. I am wearing, so I've got heavy, heavy, medium, and medium. I've gotten most of the uh, points I need for skilling up my uh, guards my medium armor. Yep, it is not impenetrable, but it is infused. And it has way better armor. All right. So now that I am completely outfitted with my armor upgraded, let's see exactly what I have here. Let's replace the Ring of the Night Mother with two rings of the trainee. Ring of the Night Mother. And I'm pretty sure I can replace the necklace too. No, actually I can't replace the necklace yet. Let's eat the vigorous crown ragu. And eat the experience scroll. Or is it just read the experience scroll? You probably shouldn't eat a scroll. <laughs> All right. Now there's a chest up here that I know about. An intermediate chest which will have more chance to break your lockpick when you don't depress the uh, thing properly, the pin, than a simple chest, but it still has less chance of doing that than a master chest. Oh, the lightning staff of the trainee and the pauldron. Cool. And since there are a whole bunch of people out here doing this quest right now, we have a signal file party, and thus the covenant people that respawn occasionally. There's a dragon running around! Cannot light the signal fire with my breath because the signal fires are green. I wonder, is there a chest over here too? It's probable that there is. Most people do not jump off of the cliff with the specific intention of looting. So, ooh, there's a psychic portal over here. I love it when there's a psychic portal over here. It gives
gives me plenty of reason to continue jumping off of cliffs. And it looks like I just got a purple sword. Purple sword of the trainee. Kick ass. Now I can add to my set bonus. And that other sword that was blue did not get damaged. And it also didn't get bound because, well, non-set items don't bind. Yeah. Trainee is good for your all-around stat buff. I need to head back into town now. I'm going to have a bunch of Covenant dudes chasing me. But that is perfectly fine. Here I come to wreck the day. Let's go talk to this merchant. Je vais parler à la merchante. What is Daven's Watch? One of the bleak rock refugees. Then you'll need supplies, yes. Davin's Watch is the closest town to this village. It's a hub for traders from across the pack. Do you go there often? Once a month. I trade our guar hides and meat for smith's goods, fine tools, and luxuries. I used to bring mm. back news from abroad, but people here aren't interested in much beyond their fields. How do I get It's there? through the west. Just through the mountain pass. You can walk there in less than a day. Though with the Covenant's problems, I might just postpone this month's trip. Is there much business in this I village? I would make more elsewhere, especially in Ebonheart or Kragenmore. But I've chosen to stay in Dalmora. If one is patient, one can gain great treasure. So I hope, anyway. So why do you stay here? Family. Why would I leave my clutch mates? They love the mud's musk in Balfoyan. Oh, I see. I can understand that. And I have a very small repair bill, and I'm very happy about that. 10 to 19, I'm gonna start picking up level... Mm. 20 stuff now. Okay, so it looks like, oh cool, I got the trainee shield. That looks like a just magnificent thing for me to have. Trainee, shield of the trainee, it's a pretty shield. All right, so I've got a Dark Elf Sword and Shield, which are both part of a set bonus. I am not yet ready to talk to you because I have a bunch of stuff to unload via Banker. Drinks with Toast. I have toes. something you need to keep safe. This is the place. Best service in Tamriel, too. Well, thank you. And I have... Plenty of space in the bank. Plague Doctors, Tremora's Dread. If I think back, this probably has a trait that my crafter could use the learning of. All right. Now, I have a ton of things to do. Actually, I should not deposit that just yet. Let's take a look at pants. The pants I just... You know what? Whatever. Whatever. 
Yeah, let's do the Magicka. Right now, I actually have, um... Strife Swarm Leg Plates of the Shaw. Let's improve my foot gear quality. I'll be missing maximum health, but I'll gain stamina. Oh, and gain my nose itching. And be very, very happy Have for the presence of drinks with toes. This is the place. Best. Yep. Best service in all of Tamriel. And I can put my crap in here when I don't need it anymore. Now I have 42 out of 76 inventory slots filled. And it's time for me to put the rings and stuff that I have used in here. It might be time for me to take a good look at Let's split this stack and put eight of the crown gems in the bank. Deposit those glyphs and deposit those empty soul gems. Let's take a look at the jewelry. I forget that it doesn't switch your perspectives. All right, Darlock Braves, that's all for levels 35 and 36. The Dragon Guard Elite's Amulet, the Night Mothers at 14, Sithis at 15, Vanus at 18, and Werewolf Hide at 13. This is good for tanky types. This is good for tanky types. These two are good for tanky types. Since tanks in this game actually need a healthy mixture of health, mana, and stamina, most of the tanky abilities... Well, you can't just be a pure stamina tank or a pure magicka tank for most builds. You need both. Particularly since you have to roll dodge a bunch, and you have to block a bunch. Let's take the Dragon Guard Elite's ring. Both at level 36. And the Dragon Guard Elite's amulet. Darlock Braze. I don't think I'll be needing that because I don't exactly sneak. I do not sneak. Huh. Alesso Guion. He does gives you the quest that takes you to Craglord. So, kind you I'm not doing away. his yet. Everyone. They're all gone. My family is gone. Where'd they go, they Era? To war. And they're outnumbered. I fear everyone we know will be dead before the day is out. I don't think it'll be that bad. It'll be bad, but it won't be that bad. Maybe not happy, but they will contain it. Aira, tell me what happened. The Covenant attacked in force when they saw the signal fires. Even now, they're marching on Fort Zirin. Darj took some of the villagers there, including my men. Should Hold I go up. to the fort? Captain Rana learned of a second force headed to the Balfoyan docks. She's leading a group of warriors to repel that attack, but without aid. I'm afraid we must choose. Ooh, so I have to choose between the docks and the I know fort. it's a hard choice, but you must go to the fort or the docks. Lend now, if only there were two of me. needed most. Era, can you help me aside? I don't know. decide? Maybe I can help you talk it out. What do you want to know? Will the fort walls protect the refugees? I want to think so. I really do. But the Bretons are known for their magic. 
If they could find a way through or around the walls... Then they'd be in serious trouble. What about your family? I trust you. You've already saved us once. If you decide to go to Rana's aid, I know it will be the right call. I know Dalsh will win the day. Why hasn't the Covenant attacked Dalmora? No idea. Perhaps their generals don't see a mud brick village as a threat. I wish they'd felt the same way about Brick Rock. And I'm gonna talk know. to her about Maybe I Captain can help Lord you talk now. it out. What do you want to know? Captain Ronald defend the darkness. And she has capable people with her, including my daughter. But the docks have no walls, no defensive positions. You let your daughter go with Rana. I did. Trinhild is proud and stubborn, like her mother used to be. Oh. Yeah, that's a tough choice indeed. She was not lying when she said the choice would be difficult. Okay. So let's take a look. At the map. I can either go here or here. I usually go here. I did go here once though. So let's show you what happens when you go there. And then later on in the quest line you encounter Aira again. Whoa, 11 skips. Are you okay, dude? Gotta try and the not run over you with my horse. Dark. We tried to surrender, but they didn't want prisoners. Many of us were gutted and thrown into the sea. Anyone else still alive? A few. We scattered. Some barred themselves inside, but the daggers put everything to the torch. If it wasn't for that crazy dark elf, You that sounds like Captain Rona. Fishermen from the docks are trapped in the windmill. Rescue them before they burn. All right. <clears throat> Let's go and grab some people out of a windmill that has been set on fire by Covenant attackers. Oops, with all the people. Open the door bar. Oh, good. You must help Asuka. Hurry to the docks. Saying it won't last long by herself. Okay. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I actually kind of like doing this quest when it's not a kill quest. Actually, in this game, kill quest, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um... I like doing the quests when there are other people around, because then I don't have to do everything myself. is also a warden. I'll make sure this gallant dies before we do that. Hello. You are about to die. There you go. Oh, I hate it when my arm does that twingy thing. In this game, it's actually more beneficial 
to not have to just use your fingers and click. Yeah, because of that. It staggers your character. And then I have to use... Fighting beside Katavana. She hid me here. You ain't dead. I ran yet. onto the ship. She's after the Covenant Commander. He's the one who burned Bleak Rock. I'll go help her. Don't let her die alone. Fight well. Kill that bastard. Okay, sounds like fun. And it sounds like you're gonna continue living today. Oh, come on. That time when you thought. You were actually moving, but you weren't. Good, I knocked him over. That should make it easier for me. Gonna see if I can manage not to draw aggro from that one Covenant person. glad that that dude fell over so that I did not get staggered by his attack. Hello. Looks like you did a hell of a the fight too. Of this vessel was the one who led the slaughter at Bleak Rock. This ship would be his grave. Where is he? Dex. Follow me. Okay. King Casimir's Pride. Sounds like an apt name for a ship. That is from the Daggerfall Covenant. Okay, let's talk. Britain dies here. Are you ready? Lord, yep. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, let's take out this incendiary so that he doesn't have as much backup. I'm gonna light you both on fire. However, you are stuck in the wall. Let's back up. Back up, Rana. Come on, Rana. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up so the poor... Back up so that the poor evil dude can come out of the wall and get his butt handed to him on a stick. Come on, let's go. There we go. out of this burning ship probably isn't a good idea to stand there while a ship is on fire. Let's talk to some people. After, there she is. She teleported out of the ship. That's good. Centurion's Quarters. Centurion Mulberreed. Hello, sir. I understand I have you to thank for driving the Covenant from these docks. The pack owes you a debt. We have. like the sun on your scales, isn't it? We almost lost these docks. 
All these people would have died without your intervention. Thank you. Saving lives is never a small victory. Well, thank, thank you very much, much, sir. Speak with Holden and make sure they've been warned about the Covenant. All right, I'll go talk to him. I have obtained skill points. Apparently, I cannot read the books in that bookshelf. And everybody has looted these stealable chests. Because, well, they can. Take pride in your work. Yep, take pride in your work indeed. Particularly if you are in the ass-kicking business. Now let's go talk to the people over there. She is not talk to a bull. Rolanda. You did great, Twin. Don't worry. The healer will fix you up. She did great, didn't she? Yeah. I wasn't there, but I'm guessing you did great, considering that you're still alive. The surgeon would get me patched right up. That sounds like a good idea. You may want to invest in some healing magic, too. Runs in wild. Win sings a victory song, yes? I think I'll take some time to bask in the sun and forget about killing. You know, that sounds like a good idea for your psychological health. <sighs> Just need a bit of a rest. Blasted stomp. Shouldn't have tried to kick with it. Probably a good idea, Hawknear. Sergeant Thanks for your help back there. We're now family by blood and steel. Don't worry. I treat my family well. That sounds awesome. Now let's talk to some more people. It appears to me that these people are all not talking to type people. All right. Captain Rana was there. <coughs> but now she isn't. Okay. So let's just go over here. Hit the H button for horse. And head over by way shrine. Two. Davin's Watch. The Davin's Watch Way Shrine. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I mentioned the berries for making an indirect earlier. I will show you the sweet new ride I want. I'm going to dismiss the alarm that tells me to stream because I'm already streaming. These guys are the ones that promote battlegrounds off to my right here. I have found that in battlegrounds you encounter people who have kind of toxic ways of handling other people, and then you also encounter people who don't have toxic ways of handling other people. The impresario. Is that a heroic silhouette I spy? Well, I hope so. And I have a repair bill to sell to you. I can buy Sahan's sword. A Jade Dragon Slayer helm. I've already got two of the three berries now available. And I'm going to get the third one. Hopefully I can manage to get all available berries before the event runs out. Now, what is this quest? Bounty Dragons. Examine. Take heed, all would-be dragon slayers. A rage of dragons burns its way across the Khajiit homeland of elsewhere. The maid beseeches all who would lend aid in this dark time to pledge their swords. 
to the destruction of the fell beasts. Slay a dragon and bring a token of proof to battle reeve Tanerling in Rimen or Shizbari the Chipper in Seneschal for your reward. Cool. So now that I have the quests, and this is the pure snow Indirect, which is so pretty. Oh, see that? That dragon there. That is what we're hunting. I am not yet ready to perform the act of going in to, um... You there. How would you like the to actual city of Davin's Watch yet. The main quest here I will show you momentarily. Actually, I will show you in the next stream. Sounds a bit like the next pounce, huh? The life of an adventurer. We pounce many, many times. You will watch as I grab another sky shard because I haven't really been around this corner of the city yet. And then grab a skill point from a guy named Varen Aquilarius. Only he calls himself the prophet when you first meet him because he doesn't want you to kill his ass the first time you meet him for having accidentally caused a big, gigantic, horrible mess. <laughs> A chest! Hopefully someone of higher level got this open. Yep, Dagger of Red Mountain and the Rubedite, which tells me that a very, very high level person did this. Champion level, as a matter of fact. Past champion level 160. Because that is the uh, level of Rubedite. Once the prophet was a man of vigor and strength, some harrowing experience has left him blind and almost feeble. Dawn of the Dragon Guard! I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Yep, I'm on my way. I'm gonna loot a backpack if there's loot in it to be had. I'm gonna read a bookshelf. Reading that for the first time Welcome gives you skill point in light heart. armor. This is <coughs> comfortable at home. Is an old yes. Husk like I need myself for you to pick a movie on the computer in my room. In the okay. Despite my Once a moment, indeed, I have a so quick quest to finish, and then I will be off stream. And walk with me through the shadows of past events. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Follow me, Vestic, and learn of the events. You actually don't have to crisis. really follow him, follow him. But you do My have to remain vaguely close to him, which is kind of nice. Although you can't really speed it up. You have Not to wait. Took pity upon me Though me this architecture looks like Cyrodiil. Can you see it? The imperial architecture and way of building things? I first things? set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. From what I have been told, the Daedra of the this world do not create. Each profound they exaggerate and, eventually left me and replicate what is already there, made up by other beings. Talk to 
to the prophet. The of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. And what does that have to do with me? important message. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the five companions. The five who are companions they? were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the dragon god, to accept their leader as one of the dragonborn. The dragonborn, dragonborn? are mortals destined for greatness with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. You know, that actually makes sense to me. Dragonborn have the natural ability to learn shouts, which are how dragons use their power of their spirit, their natural energy, and they focus it out into the mortal plane. So if you have the fire breath shout, you would be able to light the dragon fires. Who is the leader? Aquarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovit and took the crown himself. Alas, Baron was not truly a dragon lord, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Actually, it sounds like in accordance with the test, too. have already babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself, and witnessed their fate. Okay, then. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, I have met Emperor her. Tha powerful sorcerer, and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manam Marco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer. And your execution. Okay. I'm gonna breeze through Please, this part because you've seen it if you've watched my prior Each videos. You've already met Lyris. Lyris, I've met her. Sai Sahan, he's cool. Found Technically, that's a bit of deja vu on my character's part. Manamarco, the traitor. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Yep. Note, if you are going to do something, be humble. And definitely check with a master of magic to make sure that you are not going to cause trouble when you cast a spell like this. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place is Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough! <laughs> We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion. The irony of that what Madame Marco is saying. Up. This is bad. This is very that bad. Varen would pay for his sacrilege. When in reality, Madame Marco did the earworm and didn't Marco, tell him that this is what would happen. Because he wanted to get shit up. My master, Molag Bal. 
is free to claim Tanriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! As you can see, everybody is pinned down by the force of the spell. So they were not able to stop him. The ritual tore the veil between Nair and Oblivion, allowing Menemarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the tenge. What Akatosh went wrong? gave Alessia the amulet of kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nair. So long as the amulet remained in Good the care girl. of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit. Tamria will be protected from the Daedra. And what the Marco next? tricked Baron into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. And what happened Baron to the other companions? Lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. What about Abner and Menemarko? Abner remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. How did you end up? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamarco got word of my interest and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. So they saw you the as a threat? The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Okay. Long ago, so the ribbon, so long as the amulet of the king was worn by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected. Oh, shit! Whoops. Apparently that water will kill you. Ah, oh, but I resurrected at the perfectly right spot. Apparently, there's a way shrine around here. Yep, and he's on his way. Now I know what happens if you fall off the cliff. If the Lord That's actually kind of good to know. <laughs> he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane now. Few will survive the ordeal, but those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Oh, that sounds nasty. Sounds like it would be much better to die. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the Harbor Oh, yes, I am ready say? to go back. Thank you. The wheel. You are leaping and bounding around like a kitten. And, and so you are also making a great the deal of noise. The story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me a lot there to think so about. Hey, to stop playing with the this. umbrella. You will not walk yeah, the path stop there. it. We must grow okay, what's our next move? Numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris, Lyris. we're gonna break her out of jail, huh? To escape. She remains a prisoner. Straight out of Old, Old Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. So what and should I do in the meantime? Leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. 
All right. Me. Bring me into my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Miss Lich. Okay. I have leveled and gained skill point. Let's look and see. I have only one dwarven oil. So I definitely need to get that. All right. Oh, wow. I have five skill points. I did not realize that. And this, by the way, is... What? I need to go and definitely, oh, crap, I forgot to get rid of that skill point. I don't have any Sigic Order abilities active. Alchemy. All right, guys, I shall see you later. Thank you for watching. There is something I need to take care of. Yes, stop streaming, please.